In today's video, we are going to be looking at banned websites. Specifically, we're going to be looking at Youngblood's website and see what kind of improvements we can make. This is going to be a fun one, so let's get right to it. So first things first, let's head to some other banned websites and see what their website is serving a purpose for. One website I really like is the Bring Me The Horizon one, heavily branded just on the current album that they're doing. I really like this because, you know, if you come to their website, what do you want to look for? So let's just say you want to look for live events, videos, you can see that here, music, update, now merch, that's just gonna link off to another store. So what these websites will generally function as is a sort of home base. They'll generally link off to other websites for things like their store and their live events. Here, we'll have a look at the Post Malone website. Now this is just heavily branded to his new album. One other website is MGMT, and this is for their Loss of Life album, so you can see it's heavily branded just for that. And all of these links are just gonna take you off the site. Really, the, the websites are just kind of serving as a home base to link off to the store, stuff like that. Let's quickly have a look at the current Youngblood website. You can see it's not quite as themed as some of the other websites that I just showed you. You know, his new album here is this one here, which is Idols. There's a whole sort of brand and videos that go along with that. And and his current website just kind of looks like a very stock sort of template. Up here, you can see we've got navigation, so you can click on music, takes you off site. We can click on store, also takes you off site. We can click on tour, which is on the website, but it's just this sort of simple page here. The key things I wanna improve with the Youngblood site is make it more branded to Youngblood himself. Right now, it's looking like a template, so, Let's have fun with it. Right, we'll jump into Figma and let's create a frame and then we'll go MacBook Pro 14 inch and we'll make the fill black and then we'll go down here to layout guide and then let's go to columns, 12 column grid, margin 40 and then gutter, we'll go 16. And we're gonna go a sidebar sort of thing here. Give this slightly different color so we we'll see what we're kind of working with here. Now we're gonna go over here to my rough edge pack. Now this is a vector pack that I made for working on websites just like this where you kind of wanna have things that are rough around the edges. So all of these are just fully vectorized. I'm gonna go with this one here and I'll just copy that and I'll bring that over into our design, paste that, and then let's scale this up. And we'll right click on it and we'll go frame selection and then we can drag this like this and then we can use clip content to kind of create a mask and then get this positions because we only really want the edge of this, just something like that. And then let's drag that over to our sidebar. Now I made this rough edge pack for this specific reason. So like when you want to use this sort of technique, a lot of the, the packs that you can get, a lot of the vector shapes you can get are too low resolution. So this pack that I made is extremely high resolution. So you can get these very real looking sort of shapes, which is good for stuff like this. Now there's a really cool video of Youngblood that I've seen recently and I took a screenshot of that and I'm gonna paste that into the design here. Now this is just a screenshot of the video but the idea is we just use that in Figma and then when the website's an actual thing then we use the video just kind of looping in the background. And then we'll change the color of that just to black. We won't really see it but it is there and it'll make sense for our sub pages. For our navigation I'm thinking something like this, Times New Roman, you know, an old classic but uh, that's actually the font that his logo is made up of, so it just kind of makes sense to use it for body text. These have a little bit of letter spacing applied, and then this shape down here is actually also from the Edge Pack. That's just one of these. I think it's this one here. And then this acts as a kind of cool little um, current page indicator. We'll just position it somewhere around here for now, but we want to make some focus on this area for his current album, because this sidebar is going to be on every page. So I think if we have a very prominent call to action to go listen to the album or to go buy the album, it makes sense to have it somewhere down here so you can see it on every page. So let's add that in something like this. This is the new album, Idols. Pretty basic, but let's add something in here. So let's take one of these texts and this is where we can have a bit of fun. Let's go zombie. So that's one of his new songs that I really like. And then let's boost the size of this way up. And then let's take the letter spacing off and then using the skill tool, we'll make this kind of massive. And so what I wanna do with this text here is, so as it's gonna sit on top of the video, you can see that this video has got this very filmic effect. You can see the sort of bloom around the highlights. That's something you see typically in film. Everything's got a kind of shine to it. But look what happens when we apply these effects here. So color, let's actually go slightly 
off white. Now this is a slightly bluey white. Now down here, let's see, let's add a layer blur because nothing in this video is that sharp right now. A layer blur is going to take the sharp edges of text, and make it look a little bit more organic and in with the sort of video. Now we'll add a little bit of noise to it. You can see there's a lot of noise going on in the video. There always is with an image. Now this noise just helps further sort of tie it in with the video itself. And then the last thing we're going to do to kind of emulate this sort of um, film effect is we're going to add a drop shadow to it. And when we do that, now it looks like it's kind of part of the video. So if we take the effects off, you can see it looks like solid, solid text just layered on top of an image. But once we apply these effects, it kind of just brings it back. Now one finishing little touch for this, I want to go over to the rough edge pack. Now I made a cool shape in here, which I want to use, which is this sort of circle with a cross through it. Let's see if we can replace this O with it. And then now that looks kind of like a very branded logo thing. And then when we bring in that video that is playing underneath and a little bit of animation, we have something that is looking like this. You can see we've kind of used that O as a bit of a loading animation and then that turns into the O of the zombie and then the background video it looks pretty sick. Now let's quickly focus on two other pages, the live events and the videos page. So let's focus on the live events. We're just going to take our home page and we're going to drag that across and make a duplicate of it. Now let's click on this. Let's change the fill to white. And then now you can really see why we did that thing with the sidebar that we did at the start. We'll quickly change our links over here. So the live one is selected. Now I like this O shape that we had on the homepage, so I want to include that and let's paste it in somewhere like this. Now let's add in our tour dates. What I'd like to try though for the sold out, let's go into our pack here and then I'm going to choose something like this. So I'm going to select this one here, which is this, this kind of square. Now I'm not sure how this will be, so let's maybe resize it like that. Now that is looking pretty good. We've got one more page to design for this video and that is the videos page. We'll duplicate this out and then we'll delete the content. And then using this sort of two column grid, we're just going to make some simple video thumbnails with the title. We now have our video links. Now these are kind of low res. I've just pulled down from YouTube, but you get the gist. There is our video page and just imagine that you click on one of them. It probably shows it in a light box or something like that. So that's what we've got for the redesign of the Youngblood website. We've taken it from this and we've turned it into this, which is a little bit more on brand and it's a little bit more on theme with the current album, which is what a lot of these band websites seem to do anyway. Pretty simple one. I didn't go too deep within this, I didn't want to spend too much time, but I thought it would be a fun video. If you want to purchase my new pack, there is a link for that in the description. Or if you're a member of the Patreon, you also get access to that for free. And you also get access to all the design files which I include in my videos, including this Youngblood one that we just created today. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more design related videos like this. And check back soon for another video. Catch you guys later. Bye.